what is shaking we are back here once again in downtown disney only this time we are here for one reason and one reason only <laughs> and that is because world of disney has all of their halloween merchandise out so we're gonna go there check it out it's really hot today so we're trying to make this trip short and sweet and sweet i have a feeling we might end up walking away with an apple but we're here for halloween so we're gonna go gonna go to world disney check it out and hopefully not spend too much money really quickly while we walk over i want to quickly show you the crowd levels it is about noon a little bit before noon on a wednesday i think there's more cast members here than actual people but again we haven't made it up to world of disney yet so i'm not quite sure and if you haven't noticed or haven't heard ralph brennan's jazz kitchen has just reopened plexiglass surrounding the outside because guests do walk really really close to where you are dining and what else just opened the brea break bakery just reopened today today so we might go just check it out and see how the crowds are doing down there oh and you can smell orleans well that is a nice addition having the jazz kitchen open it smells like new orleans square you could also hit the jazz express which isn't open right now you know currently but whew, you can get your beignets your mint juleps all of those new orleans square favorites you can get them right there right behind me So as you can see, the crowds are indeed here, but still not too bad, you know, as far as the walking paths are concerned. It is 92 degrees out, so it does make a difference. A lot of people want to be in the stores, so we'll see. Confectionery, Home Store, both have virtual queues already. I'm really curious to see what World of Disney looks like. I can see the line but I don't know if it's a virtual or standby yet. So World of Disney is using the virtual queue today, so we're in line. We came in to Rip Curl, Curl Surf, Billabong, whatever the surf store is here next to Starbucks, to get some AC. Billabong. Like I said, it is Billabong. Is it Billabong? You can tell I'm not a surfer, dude. But we came in here to get some AC, kill a little time, and we'll see how long it takes for our text message for World of Disney. So 55 minutes later, not too bad. Especially since we've waited two hours to get into World of Disney. So let's go in, see this Halloween merch. Ashley's already pointing stuff through the window. Hopefully they I have already everything. ordered stuff online. She did order things online. But here's hopefully, hopefully everything that she wants is inside. So here we go. All the Halloween stuff. Oh yeah, Ashley's obsessed with these ears. Hold on, you're missing the camera. Yeah, she got these ones online. I know they're not Halloween, but she wants them. What you? Oh. Yeah, I know I have to find them. What? <laughs> she has to find them. I could always take it off of there. That's what she's on the hunt for. So this is the main section, the main Halloween merchandise. And then here are the ears that almost everyone is buying. And I love this countdown calendar. 
countdown Triscuit countdown thingy because I love countdowns. Let's see what else. So I actually just said online, these wreaths look a lot bigger. Here's a size comparison. Not a whole lot larger than my hand. The new Halloween spirit jersey. I really like that. That one is really neat. Here's some towels. Ever since moving, I've been obsessed with towels. Oh, and here's the front. That is cute. And again, more shirts, more towels. And since it is the Halloween season, that means it is Nightmare Before Christmas and the Haunted Mansion season. So this whole middle section across from the Halloween is all Nightmare Before Christmas and also the Haunted Mansion. What are those? What are they? Oh, you just—it's just a hanging thing. It's a stocking. That is a stocking. Yeah, it's a stocking. Huh? For for how much? Thirty bucks stocking. Okie dokie. That's pretty big. Oh, it's big. Let's see what's around the corner. Hats. Beanies. Ooh. Bucket hat. Only problem is it's white. You know it's black inside. Oh, it's black inside. Yeah. Ooh, I kind of like this hat. And zero is full of spirit. So of course you have your normal weasel wear, your normal cups that are always here. A new blanket, I think. And Ashley's trying to show me something. But here's the blanket which is upside down. How about this one? That's the blanket, and Ashley wants to get... Well, I'm getting it. Oh, you're gonna get it? Yeah, I already thought Okay, she's gonna get it. But otherwise, it's your normal Nightmare Before Christmas. Haunted Mansion. Here's your Haunted Mansion. And this can all be found across the way. And then I'm not entirely sure if these are new, but they are definitely new to me. This is the Haunted Mansion Crocs. I think they've been out. I've never seen them. And this shirt. Interesting. I actually just discovered this mug. And this is what it looks like. Normal. Now I'll show them the tag. When you put hot water in it, it changes color. That is really, really neat. And we also found this bag that magically lights up. No lights? Lights. That's kind of cool. And I want to do a quick spin here to show you. It's not very crowded today. And there's a long line. So I don't know if they are just limiting how many people are coming into the stores now or into the store, or that's gotta be it. It's the only thing I can think of, is that they're just limiting how many people. Because there really is not, you know, a big crowd in here. You can really social distance yourselves, but yet the line is over an hour long. So the last little spot that contains at least Halloween is these pillows and under the ink and paint under sign. yeah under the ink and paint sign. But pillows, which Ashley is getting, but they also have the buckets that light up. Yeah, for when our couch eventually arrives. But it's cute. Well, no, here I can show. It's not a mug. It is not a mug. 
put a candle. You put a candle in them. Mm. It's actually kind of nice. Yeah. How much though? Like, mm. Where is it? Twenty dollars. Twenty bucks? Not too bad. Nineteen ninety. Yeah, that's that's not too bad. I yeah. Pumpkin. It's probably twenty bucks. Ooh. Boo. Who do you? And these light up as well. So this the theme seems to be very light up. Yeah. Light up. Alright. I wonder if I can turn it on. Well she tried to make it light up, but no luck. It is still kinda cute though. So I think that is all of the Halloween decorations or Halloween merchandise that we're gonna be able to find. We've kind of gone through everything in here. We've gone through everything at the exit. And I think our trip is complete. So overall, a great day down here in downtown Disney. We were actually really surprised to see how much Halloween merchandise was still available. Now it has only been a couple days, but- they, they did it, they put it in stores on Monday. On Monday, so it's been Three days, today's the third day. And everybody down here is rushing to World of Disney. So I am, I guess a little surprised, but I'm very grateful that they really weren't sold out of very much at all. The, the ears. The that they were sold, almost sold out was my pillow, the pumpkin yeah, pillow. Yeah, there weren't many pumpkin pillows. And it was only in one section. Well, yeah, and they didn't have them a lot of, in like the main Halloween section. They didn't have the, the the pillow that I actually got, the Mickey, the Mickey pumpkin pillow, was only in one section and it was kind of hidden. So I'm curious if maybe they had more and those did sell out or are <laughs> selling out. But the ears, plenty ears, plenty, the spiral ears. plenty of the spiral ears. Not too many of the Haunted Mansion. I mean, they still have a lot. Nightmare but before the Nightmare, sorry, Nightmare Before Christmas ears. Those were running lower. They also but didn't not have a huge section for them. No, they were only in the middle. But there were still plenty. So if you're in the area, oh, you want to um, come down and get your Halloween stuff. A couple of things are, are are that are only online right now that though I guess that aren't in Disneyland is the crops, the Halloween crops, and the actual theme Halloween spirit jersey. They have the one that has like Disneyland in the um, lettering that's themed to Halloween but online there's an adult one that has it kind of like the Christmas one where it had like all the candy and stuff on it. They don't have that or the crocs. Yeah but Disney World does. Well there you go. In Florida. There's your rundown as to what's online and what's in these stores. So. Oh and they also don't have the jack-o-lantern ears. No no jack-o-lantern ears. Yes. But like I said, there's still plenty of stuff. Come on down. And it shouldn't be too sold out. At least the current moment. And it helps that it's 90 plus degrees out and it's keeping the crowds somewhat low. And we live here, so that helps. <laughs> well, that's for us. Not for my bank account. <laughs> so like I said, overall fantastic day today. Hi. Halloween is fast fastly approaching. It is very, very hot today. But without further ado, if you haven't done so already, give this video a big thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell if you want to be notified when other videos like this or other park adventure videos are eventually uploaded. And as always, if you're at any of the Disney parks watching any movie, whatever it might be, tell Mickey and Minnie that I say hi. And I will see you all a little later.